I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind. I took the form of a friend. I met a boy, not that old. Moments like this always take me back. Back to a song that I first heard from him. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. Venti, do you mean you used to look different than you do now? <laughs> I took the form of a friend.
the Nurkon's power is derived from their people's faith. We have not forgotten Barbados' wish for Mondstadt. Venti was so powerful that he sliced off the tops of Mondstadt's mountains. Weich landed upside down in the sea to form the Golden Apple Archipelago. Each Archon presides over their own part of Tevat. That is the role the Archons play. Only in performing this duty can we attain power. But I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really like it either. Without a doubt, I am now the weakest Archon among the Seven. In the last act of the Mondstadt Archon quest, he shares that Archons gain power by ruling their part of Tevat. Now fast forward to the Sumeru Archon quest, where Nahida drops a bombshell. She claims that an Archon's power comes from their people's faith, not ruling. Did no one tell you that Mondstadt is the city of freedom? Mondstadt is a romantic city without the reign of a king. And its citizens enjoy the most freedom amongst the seven nations. May the winds bless your travels! I've met many bards during my travels, but none of them are as entertaining as you. I really like that bard. It's too bad that I'm not often in the city. Otherwise, I could bring him some gifts every day. Before Lantern Ride, I met an old friend. Thanks to his help, things have been a lot more stable than before. Oh, and I also met the bard, Venti, there. The music he plays is quite refined and elegant. He sang a harmony to guide me in, and before long, we were sounding great. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. Among those works, I admire the ones penned by Venti the most. Remarkable grace and exceptional literary talent. They didn't want to embarrass me in front of everyone. He's such a considerate person. I can confirm that. When Sing Cho was busy with other things, he asked me to buy him poetry books in secret. With that extraordinary demeanor and literary talent, he's definitely not just any bard. 